Hi, my name is Dan, and today I'm refitting this R22 condensing unit using Honeywell Genitron R422D. Safety first, so always wear your leather gloves, your safety glasses, and safety shoes. Disconnect the power supply before starting any work. Before making any changes to the system, we're going to want to record some baseline data. This is a good time to correct any deficiencies in the system. When you're done, record data such as the suction and discharge pressures, the liquid subcooling temperature, the suction superheat temperature, and the motor amps. You can collect more detail if you like, but those are the basic things we'll need later as a comparison with the new Genitron refrigerant. Okay, we've collected our baseline data, corrected any deficiencies in the system. Now we're ready to recover the refrigerant. I've got my recovery machine here that's capable of pulling the refrigerant pressure down below zero, my recovery cylinder, and I've evacuated the system with the vacuum pump so that we are ready to recover the gas now. After we recover the gas, we'll weigh it to see how much we recovered, and we'll use that number to determine how much R422D will use later. Please. Do not vent refrigerant into the atmosphere. Systems being charged with Genitron R422D use slightly less refrigerant than the R22 charge. This system holds about six pounds, so I'm going to multiply that by 0.95 to get my approximate R422D charge. Or I could use the Honeywell R22 Retrofit app to do the calculation for me. On a typical air conditioning system with short lines, you won't need to make any changes or modifications to the mineral oil in the system. Following recommended maintenance requirements, I'm going to install a new filter dryer. Check with your wholesale to make sure the filter dryer you're using is compatible with your system. Also, I'm going to replace any elastomer seals in the system, like this Schrader core valve here and the valve cap here. Okay, we finished recovering our R22. Honeywell recommends that we evacuate the system to below 1,000 microns. We cannot adequately do that with only one refrigerant hose hooked to the system. You'll leave air and non-condensables in the system. What we need to do is have both hoses hooked up to the system and use a good electronic vacuum gauge to measure the pressure. You cannot read accurate vacuum using a manifold gauge. When replacing R22 with Genitron 422D, use the same charging procedures that you would using R22. It's important to remember that R422D is a blend and we need to charge liquid from the cylinder into the system. I'm using a throttling valve on my manifold gauge to limit the amount of liquid that can go into the system. Charging too much liquid into the suction line can damage your compressor. Allow the system to stabilize and adjust the refrigerant charge in 5% increments until the desired operating conditions are achieved. This is where your baseline data will come in handy. If your system has a pressure control, it may be necessary to adjust the pressure control to match the pressure of the new refrigerant. Caution should be taken not to exceed the operating limits of the compressor and other system components. If your system has a capillary tube or an orifice, the performance of the system will change very quickly if the system is overcharged or undercharged. Just using a liquid sight glass to charge your system can cause it to be overcharged. Use your system operating conditions, suction pressure, discharge pressure, suction superheat, liquid subcooling, compressor amps to properly charge your system. For blend refrigerant, pressure temperature data will include bubble pressure and dew pressure data. To determine superheat, use the dew pressure column. To determine subcooling, use the bubble pressure column. To find average evaporating or condensing temperature, find the measured pressure in both the bubble and dew columns and take the average of the two corresponding temperatures. I hope this demonstration on retrofitting an R22 residential AC system has been helpful. For complete instructions on retrofitting R22 with Genitron 422D, use this retrofit guide, which contains this handy checklist. For complete information on AC and refrigeration retrofits, including this guide, visit the R22 Retrofits page on Honeywell-Refrigerants.com.